Hi guys, it's Dr. Shimizu. I just wanted to give you guys a little orientation to where things are in the Blackboard space. I feel like we've been in class a while now and um, you should have a little bit of an idea about how to get on and how to get into your mastery. I just wanted to give you a sort of tour of the resources there to help you be a little more successful in mastering the material and preparing for assessments and labs. Okay, so let's take a look at the um, syllabus here first. Syllabus is located through the menu. You can get that there. There's a number of useful things within the syllabus. One of the things that you can take a look at or that might be helpful for you is to take a look at how the grading works and the points. Um, you can figure out your grade using um, that scaling within the syllabus. The other thing that's here is my uh, contact information and you can also sign up for Remind if you have not yet done that. The course outline is also accessible through the menu on the left here. The course outline gives you um, an idea week by week, day by day, what we're planning. It's not always going to happen, but what we're planning to cover in terms of textbook chapters, chapter material, and your mastering biology assignments in uh, parentheses, there's points there. And um, just know that you can have a pop quiz or a notebook check at any point. And here's your labs as well as planned tests. Okay. Um, as far as chapter resources go, you can find that in the menu as well. The chapter resources, one of the sort of um, first things you see here is chapter outlines. It's easy to miss. It's right there though. If you click on chapter outlines, it brings you to my Google Drive and you can take a look at um, chapter outlines. The chapter outlines are useful in that they're a condensed um, version of the main points in each of the textbook chapters. You may find these helpful for reviewing or studying or adding to your existing notes. Um, if concepts are a little difficult, you can use them as well. It's nice because it sort of um, gets down to the main points. Um, you're still going to want those textbook diagrams and the details from the textbook, but it gives you a nice, um, a nice overview in a very shortened form. Okay. Also in your course resources, you can find our week by week summaries of what we're covering. Um, remember scrolling within each week, you can scroll up and down. Okay. And so you'll find information that's useful from the lab to prepare for the lab or to review after the lab as well as the PowerPoints. Now, the other thing to remember is that I can't cover everything in every single class. Okay, so even if you come to class and you feel pretty like good with the material, it's still only scratching the surface of really these concepts. So it's a good idea for you to take a look in our weekly resources as well as take notes on the chapters. Okay, that really gives you a more thorough view of what we need to do. Um, the last component, of course, is the master of biology. Okay. But within these weekly resources, you'll find a lot of things that I found important that, not, that go with our lesson objectives. Um, we didn't get to watch, say, this uh, video, this video. So you may want to still go in and take a look at um, things that we didn't cover. And it also is good to refresh and review. Maybe you didn't get all the notes as, as we were taking them in class. You can go into the PowerPoint. Some people even like to, pr to print them so you have your own printed copy of the PowerPoints. Um, please know that all of that is there for you. This is college and you really should be taking that initiative. Okay. Um, if you go to your Mastering Biology, that's pretty self-explanatory. You have your assignments, your scores, and your online textbook. If you look at our week-by-week -week, um, sort of summary, say for week five, it shows you what chapters we're covering, what's due in Mastering, okay, what lab we will work on, and um, when the lab will be due, you would upload it to the Dropbox here. Okay, the last little area to explore, we'll quickly take a look at grades. I don't have grades because I am looking at this in a preview student mode. It's like a fake student, um, but just lets us see. You can take a look here and see all of the assignments and the due dates. Okay, so you can sort them by due date. You can sort them um, by the order that they're presented in the course. Um, you can see what's been graded already, what's coming due soon and what you've submitted but has not yet been graded, okay? So I hope this little overview helps you get oriented to our Blackboard space, and I want to encourage you, if you have any questions whatsoever, I'm here for you. I do this because I love to do this, and I feel like it's so important for um, to teach and to learn biology. So I encourage you, if you have further questions, to come see me. 